Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is your monthly spread for May 2021 for Virgo, Sun, Moon and Rising. This spread is intended to pick up on whatever energy surrounds you for May and therefore may not necessarily be a romantic reading. It might be for some of you. Basically anything can come out today themes of friendship family your work your health your spiritual journey anything so do take what resonates for you and as always throw away the rest there will be a designated relationship spread on this channel for virgo in around one week's time so do make sure that you're subscribed to keep an eye out for that there is also going to be at some point this month hopefully before the 14th of may mercury retrograde readings because of course towards the end of may we do enter mercury retrograde the only reason why i'm telling you guys this virgo is because of course you are ruled by mercury so it's kind of always a big deal for virgo same with gemini also ruled by mercury um, my sun is in gemini and my moon is in virgo so safe to say i am impacted by mercury retrograde in one way shape or form every time mercury retrograde is of course notorious for energies people situations returning so that is what i will explore in those readings just quickly before we get into this spread for you virgo be mindful please of scammers this has unfortunately been recently brought to my attention fortunately nobody has fallen victim to this as far as i'm aware because people are generally quite savvy about this stuff and have contacted me to make me aware just to make it very clear i will never contact anybody unsolicited offering readings and indeed asking for money i only operate using the email in the description and i will only engage with you to discuss personal and private readings if of course you were to contact me first okay virgo let's see what the cards have in store for you this month your overall energy oh who is this who is this mr knight in shining armor here coming towards you hmm why do i get a not today satan kind of vibe it might be because i've just read for gemini and they had the devil knocking at their door so maybe i'm so i have cleared the energies cleared the space re refocused reshuffled the cards meditated and everything since that reading but i kind of feel there's a but here let's 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 explore what's crossing you the sun happiness is crossing you hmm. it's not happiness is it the sun is being able to see all because you are basking in that glorious light of the sun it's not the moon if it was the moon i would say you know the see clearly something about this knight of cups whomever this might be we will continue to explore this further with clarifications but i would say if it was the moon i'd say you know there's something about this knight of cups that you definitely don't know this is a little different this suggests that you probably do know everything that you need to know but you're suspicious you feel like you're missing something you feel like you're not being told everything but actually i think you are i think you are in the light of the sun because the sun is here but you're suspicious which leads me to assume you have very good reasons to be suspicious of this knight of cups approaching you here interesting what lies at the root of this situation well no wonder no wonder you feel suspicious i think the last time you saw this person they left you with 10 lovely shiny swords in your back that seems to be the scenario that i'm tapping into here recent past four of swords there's been a timeout. there's been a recovery period for sure here a cooling down <clears throat> period what's on your mind four of cups rejection is this fear that you will be rejected or you just going no, i don't think so you can back off right now don't keep coming to nope stop 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 no you just don't trust this person i have seen 
Nothing here to suggest that they're lying to you, but I also see you have incredibly good reasons to not trust this person. Coming in in the near future is the Seven of Wands. Very protective, very defensive. Blocking, resisting. This is a very, very clear message. And Gemini also had the sun in their central energy. And I said to Gemini, it's obvious that this spread is very clear to me as a reader because the sun is just making it incredibly clear centrally here um yeah there's very much nothing else to say thus far again i'll clarify advice and guidance is the ten of cups take care of you and yours focus on your immediate friends family your immediate environment make sure you are protected especially in in terms of matters of finances and your home your environment it's almost, I'm getting like an image of, oh, it's, it's Monty Python, <laughs> where they're stood um, on the battlements and the guy wants to be let in and they're going, no, your, your mother smells like elderberries, that, what a strange reference, <laughs> it's making me giggle, um, but it's like, you know, somebody on the outside going, hey, hey, Virgo. Can I can I just come in for a second? I, I have completely genuine intentions, I promise. And you're like, batten down the hatches, shut down the drawbridge. No, I don't think so. You stay there. No. Throwing things at them. Go away. Go, go, go. It's But it's there is kind of humorous vibe surrounding this. And I don't want to invalidate anything that you might be going through here. I do see, of course... Cup, cups and you know sad cups cards and the ten of swords i do see potentially you know pain surrounding this but it's kind of how can i explain it this defensiveness feels like you're feigning it a little bit perhaps to see how hard this person is truly prepared to fight. Okay, that's fair. What do you need to know? The Ace of Wands. Well, there's definitely passion here. I would hope that the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands is a great card. Please don't get me wrong on that. But I would hope that the Knight of Cups had a little bit more to offer than simply the ace of wands this could speak of how do i put it maybe you weren't the first person on their list maybe that's maybe that's not necessarily the case but i think that's what you suspect i think that's how you feel you weren't the, this person's first call Maybe not even their second or third. I don't necessarily think that's actually true. But I absolutely understand why you suspect it could be true. I think I've made that clear now. That it's not... I think this person is actually more sincere and genuine in their intentions... But I totally get why there's no reason why you should trust them. Hopes and fears. Ace of coins. Okay. Okay. You might let them into your castle just for one night. Perhaps. I think if you catch my drift. But then it will be... Off you go again. <laughs> yeah, I think making this... I just don't think you trust this person to be bringing you anything that's real and tangible and that is your focus right now your overall outcome here is the six of swords moving to karma waters releasing objective thinking um detaching yourself kind of abruptly as well um i think you might kind of almost with a vein of humor feign defensiveness and maybe for a moment, entertain this person possibly a little more than you would like to. And then 
you'll realize where you're being led and you'll shut down you'll shut it down kind of abruptly so from your knight of cups's perspective that might be perceived as a little bit of a tease but i think it's not that's not your intention i think you suddenly realize hang on i'm getting sucked back in nope 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 that's when when you'll shut it down here i just regardless of this person's intentions i think there's a huge huge trust issue here for you and perhaps for a hot minute there you might wonder if it's something that you could entertain again if it's energy that you could go back to again mercury retrograde definitely will nudge you in that direction but then it's like no 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 there might be a specific reason why you kind of wake up and think what am i doing or it might just be something like you've wrote, like something reminds you of the reason why you ended up feeling like this in the first place what's going on with this knight of cups please let's get some clarification for virgo and let's start digging into this you have leo gemini libra cancer leo virgo and aquarius on the table here today all the signs are here a couple of fours Again, we're looking at your stability and your security are clearly themes that are important to you. I think this person could disrupt your stability, whether that be physical or emotional, mental stability, whatever. Ten of Swords, yeah. I can see why you don't trust this person. This Knight of Cups might be incredibly attractive, might be romantic, might be smooth talking. But you've got double Ten of Swords surrounding this guy. This is betrayal, hurt, heartbreak, humiliation, rock bottom, backstabbed. It's very visceral. Yeah whatever has passed between you and this knight of cups i feel kind of left you reeling which is why you don't believe them and i don't think it's really just it just because this person is speaking the truth let's just assume that every single thing that comes out of this person's mouth at this point is absolutely the truth your truth is you can't believe that whether it is or is not true because you don't trust them it's been broken you know this is beautiful pottery in china where that broke the broken pottery is reinfused with gold and it can you know so things that have been broke can be stronger and even more beautiful but sometimes they cannot be mended sometimes the, the it's too much damage the pieces are too many and you can't rebuild you just have to sweep them up and put them in the bin and, and try and move on it's entirely up to you of course what you do with that but i think this person does have the potential to earn back your trust but do you want them to or would you prefer to move ahead and find somebody who you just do trust sometimes it's like it shouldn't be this hard okay let's see what's going on with the sun yeah strife the five of wands yeah it's just i think this person the reason why i'm getting this kind of humorous vibe that's coming in I think this person's coming in and kind of trying to break the ice or lighten the mood by kind of joking a little bit and i think on the one hand that kind of flirty bantery kind of thing's quite appealing and quite fun 
but actually I think it's pissing you off. I think it actually is, is kind of making you a little angry because it feels as though all this pain that you're that you clearly associate with this person is being dismissed or make, made light out of. And that's not good times. Yeah. I don't think it's like they're ruining it all. I think it's already been ruined. And perhaps for a minute here, it, you do wonder, could, could, this, could this be healed? Could this be something and I think very rapidly you arrive at the conclusion that no what did they do Virgo why were you left so hurt nine of pentacles well you were left alone for sure um what I'm getting is an issue of this person being unwilling to fight for you unwilling to chase you I'm definitely getting a theme here of you kind of being left to fend for yourself. Very, very unsupported. I don't think that that led you to failing at anything. Like you're more than sufficient and able to take care of yourself. It's not a question of needing anybody else, but it would have been nice to feel like this person was in your corner. I think whatever you faced alone here you you were successful but it would have been nice for this person to be by your side and actually it felt like a betrayal i think this person really let you down i think there was a moment where you needed to feel supported you needed this person to stand next to you and they were a no-show and recently there has been a period of recovery here four of cups yeah it felt like a rejection we've now got the four of cups here twice in the recent past and on and on your mind here it definitely felt like a rejection it definitely i think this person was very kind of wrapped up with themselves i think you virgo were absolutely taken for granted within this scenario and I think what this person's trying to offer you now actually is something you're quite quite averse to. You kind of cringe a little bit. I think whatever happened here really changed the way that you see this person and was kind of a turn off. On your mind here is similar themes to what ha you know it's almost like you're you're thinking of the past you know this person perhaps arriving back on your doorstep or sliding into your dms has made you remember the reasons why things halted the way they did before it's kind of digging it back up a little bit for you four of pentacles got fours all over the place i think you're kind of confused you know this person in your opinion your perception of this person was somebody that didn't step up for you didn't support you left you to fend for yourself abandoned you took you for granted so why are they struggling so hard to let you go because when they did have you they there wasn't any fight there but now they don't have you they seem to have found this fight from nowhere and you possibly very pragmatically reminding yourself that that's probably just an ego thing it's not a you thing it's their ego they don't like being said no to lots and lots of force so we're absolutely dealing with issues of um foundations stability security i believe those are the things that you value right now that you know this person really does not have to offer you so moving into the future again defensive blocking resistant self-protection 
yeah, you're not going to let this person break your heart again. It's a very, very simple message. And I think there's some questions here. There's some confusion. There's a little bit of, what's the word? Resentment. Almost resentment that why are you putting in so much effort now? It's too late. You're shutting the barn doors and the horse is long gone. And again, your advice and guidance definitely comes back to all of these themes of your stability, your home, your environment, taking care of yourself here, your, um, uh, what's the word, um, security. You know, that could be financial security, your physical security here. I don't think this person has very much in the way of offering you anything in those terms. The Princess of Pentacles, look how she is going to do that all by herself. Counting her own blessings, sowing her own seeds, reaping her own abundance there. Um, yeah, you don't. OK, so it's not necessarily a question of this person cannot offer you stability or security. Possibly that is a problem, but it's not the main problem. The issue really is, is you've had to do a lot of this yourself, clearly. So why on earth do you suddenly need them coming along? So it's like you've you were left on your own. You did the hard grind, you did the hard work, and now they want in on that action? So they went off and swanned off and had their little jolly holiday or did whatever it was that they were doing while you were putting in the hard graft. And now they're back and they want to sample the meal that you have so lovingly prepared by yourself. And you're like, no, it's mine. There's a fable, isn't there? A fable came up for, was it Aquarius? The stone soup one. Like, there's one where nobody's prepared to help out or put in any effort, but then when the reward is ready to be reaped, all of a sudden everybody shows up again. It's not that they left you in the lurch. You, you stepped up for yourself. But yeah, they don't get to just not put in any of the graft and then just come in and uh, sample the, the reward. Why should they? That's where you're at. What you need to know is this person. Let's get a clarifier. Three of Pentacles. Okay. What you need to know is this person is kind of playing the long game here um I, I do think that actually given half a chance that they would be by your side that they are kind of on the same page as you as i said i've seen nothing throughout this reading to suggest that this person is disingenuous or untruthful to you in any way i think they're the reasons for coming back are very sincere but if you cannot believe that whether it's true or not it doesn't matter but again, what you what you need to know here is this person is not just after sex. There's absolutely more to this. They do want to work with you. They do want to build together, to plan together. They're willing to put in the hard yards. But double ten of swords, three of swords. And I think it's almost, I think you're a little bit, Outraged at the audacity that now they want to fight. Where was this person when you needed them to fight, when it mattered, when it counted? Sometimes people unfortunately need to lose something to truly appreciate the value of it. Is that enough for you? That's entirely up to you. Your hopes and fears are sowing a seed with this person, kind of making it real again. You know, the Knight of Cups can be a little bit of a fantasy. You know, the knight in shining armour kind of thing. Um, so you might indulge a little in this fantasy, but when it comes to actually making it official, like, you know, uh, agreeing that we're actually doing this, I, I, I just don't think it's a place that makes you feel comfortable. Three of Wands... 
yeah, yeah, I think you have got gone ahead with very little choice, honestly, and forged, carved out a path for your future. And you've got a very, you know, firm vision of what that looked like, the steps that needed to be taken, what the goal was with the mini goals along the way, what the ultimate long term goal was and what needs to be done. You know, you've kind of got a you kind of made a PowerPoint of your future here me mentally. Of course, you know, Virgo is very Virgo kind of vibe to do that. Um, and you got it kind of mapped out. And you did all of that without taking this person into account. They were not part of this equation because you were left with no choice. You Maybe at one point you would have been happy to include this person as part of that equation, but you've had to forge on ahead alone, not necessarily alone, but not with this person. And I think you just don't see where they fit now. You can't envision them being part of this future that you've planned out. Perhaps this is the kind of person that you know is quite likely to let you down again, isn't necessarily going to be the best at pulling their weight. Or perhaps you just don't trust them. And it's it's kind of plaguing you a little bit, like uh, making space for this person in your future is something you're clearly very resistant to doing. Your ultimate outcome here, again, is that abrupt, no, 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 stop, 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 I'm not doing this. You might take a few steps in this person's direction before you hit this point, but I think ultimately, and the, the, the kind of, like I said, the kind of resentment about now that, now they, now they want to fight for you is, is, leaving a bad taste in your mouth and I think ultimately you will just abruptly cut them off because you'll recognize that it's it's kind of it's too tempting so you need to kind of go cold turkey four of wands yeah you have a target you have a goal you have plans and again we're coming back to another four so now you've got the four of cups the Four of Cups again, the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords and the Four of Wands. You've got all four fours. There's nothing more that you need from anybody else to give you those themes that we've discussed. The stability and the security that you're trying to establish for yourself. This is recognising that you have everything that you already need. This person really, for you is just not bringing anything of value to the table for you. And that might seem a little harsh, but that's your reality. They just don't really have anything to offer in terms of what's important to you right now. They may have many things to offer, but you don't need the things that they have. And what you do need is something that is not really their forte, let's say. Virgo, I think you're going to go it alone. I think you're, as I said, you might take a few steps, but I think ultimately this kind of the audacity that now they want to fight for you, I just don't think you believe it. You don't believe it. You don't trust this person. And actually what you do believe and what you do trust is yourself and your own ability. So why on earth would you put your eggs in somebody else's basket when you know that that person could well break all of your eggs, but you know that you would look after them. So relying on yourself seems to be the sensible, logical thing to, to fall back on here right now. Anyway, because what you need, this person does not seem to be able to offer at this moment in time. Virgo, good luck with this. Do take care. Have a wonderful May. Good luck with Mercury Retrograde. Keep your eye out for more readings and I will be back very soon.